when's the last time you missed focus? If you're watching this video, I have to imagine that it was sometime recently, so I'm sorry to hear that. For me, it was Halloween. I was taking pictures of my niece and nephew in their Halloween costumes with my 85 1.8G, and I noticed that nothing was in focus. Didn't think it was my fault, so I brought out focus test chart tool, whatever you want to call it, to test and see if the lens was front focusing or back focusing. So I'm going to go over how to tell that and how to fix the problem. There are several focus calibration tool options out there. I went with the cheapest, eight bucks off Amazon for a six pack of these cardboard ones. There's also a data color spider lens cow for like $65, which is just made of plastic, does basically the same thing. I will have links down in the description below at where you can purchase these or the other options. They will be affiliate links. Any purchase you make through those links, I get a small percentage. Helps me out. I really appreciate it. The process of seeing if your lens is front or back focusing is pretty straightforward. You just fold up the chart or use whatever you have, set it down on a flat surface, focus on the center portion and then look at the results and see what is in focus and what is not in focus. So I'll go and put up uh, the first image that I took, very attractive, and then if we zoom in one to one, we can see that the area in focus is actually well in front of the target. Now that we know that the camera is front focusing, we wanna go to the setup menu. This is for Nikon, I'm sure there's a way to do it for Canon. And this is only an issue with DSLRs as the autofocus sensors aren't in the same place as the actual camera sensor. So go down, third menu for me on my D750, there's autofocus fine tune. And going into there, you can see that it's on and it has a saved value for this lens. And I have had to move it back to plus 20 because of how far forward my camera was front focusing. And just move it up and down and once you're done you want to do small adjustments take another photo and see how it works and once you have it dialed in where you want just hit okay it will save and then you're done here are photos that i took during the process i would make small adjustments take another test photo review it and then decided if i need to do more adjustments and this is the final photo that I took where I was happy with the focus. The process isn't that difficult. I will say that you wanna check the manual for your specific camera body to make sure that the option to adjust fine focus is supported. I know older camera bodies might not have that option in the menu system, so you don't wanna be ordering cardboard that won't do you any good if it isn't supported in your camera. That'll do it for this video. If you found this helpful and you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I'll have more videos in the future, mostly uh, nutty vintage stuff that I find that there's just no videos on YouTube and I have difficult time tracking down information on them, but also uh, macro and occasional helpful topics like front or back focusing. So I will see you in the next video.